हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू टूडेज लेक्चर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर ट्वेल्थ विच इज़ द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर होली रीडर बुक द टाइटल ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द क्लेवर आउल ओके तो हैव यू एवर सीन आउल यू नो वॉट इज वॉट डज वॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट्स आउल फ्रॉम द अदर बर्ड्स आउल्स वेक अप स्लीप एट इन द मॉर्निंग एंड वेक अप ड्यूरिंग द होल नाइट ओके and owls are known to be very wise because they live a long life and so it is considered that they have experience so let's start the chapter one should not kill any one should not kill any other to kill a living being is a great sin if someone kills others he is also killed in the end as the snake was killed read and enjoy the story so you might have heard that we should not we have no right to take anybody's life if we cannot provide somebody with life which we, we cannot take anything from somebody which we cannot provide them in return so is here, so it is being said here that to kill a living being is a great sin okay so we will read in this chapter what happened to the snake and who killed whom Once upon a time two sparrows lived in a great sal tree which stood on the bank of a wide river so once once upon a time there lived there lived two sparrows you have seen sparrows sparrows are called as goraiya in hindi they lived in a they lived on the bank of a river you know what is the bank of a river see this is the river which is flowing this side and this side is known as the bank of the river in the middle the 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 river is flowing, and the part where it is dry, where trees and all grow, where people can walk, is called the bank of the river. So, there was a sal, sal tree which stood on the bank of the river. So there is a sal, sal tree which stood at the bank of the river, and there these two sparrows lived. They lived a peaceful and happy life. There were plenty of trees beside the river, but they liked the sal tree the most. Every year, year the sparrows built a new nest in one of the in one of the many hollows of the same tree. So, on that sal tree on the rib, which stood on the bank of the river, these two sparrow sparrows lived a very peaceful and happy life. And there were many trees on the bank of the river, but they liked the, this large sal tree the most. And there were many hollows in the on the tree. You know what is hollow? Something which is deep from inside is is hollow. Anything which has a deep space inside is known as hollow. So that the tree had many hollows. But what did they? These two sparrows built nest in one same hollow every year. these two sparrows among the all the hollows and on amongst all the hollows on the same sal tree they used to build a a they used to build their nest in the hollow so now this part of the river was the favorite swimming spot of the prince of kanpur the prince loved to ride and hunt after a hot dusty ride on one of the fine horses the prince liked nothing better than to have a quiet swim in the cool water so here we can see that the th- this part of the river was the favorite swimming spot of the prince of kanpur so this story is a kanpur based story kanpur is a place in uttar pradesh as you might be knowing so the prince of kanpur were like to have a nice swim after after every hot and dusty ride of his fine horse the favorite swimming spot of the prince of the kanpur and the prince loved to ride and hunt ride means riding a horse and he used to hunt and after very after the hot and dusty rides what he used to do he liked to s- swim in the cool water one day in the spring the mother sparrow laid some eggs the sparrows were delighted in the afternoon they sat happily on a branch and watched the spring prince splashing about in the river below so one day what happened in spring what, which season is the spring before the onset of summer which season is there where there is not so much of cold weather also and there is there isn't too much hot weather that season is called the spring where flowers begin to blossom 
so what in spring one what, what happened the mother sparrow laid some eggs in the in the nest which they build on, built on the sal tree the sparrows were delighted the the sp sparrows sorry the sparrows were very delighted they were very happy and in the afternoon they sat happily on a branch and watched the prince prince splashing about in the river below so this is pretty self explanatory in the afternoon they sat on the branch and watched the this prince of kanpur splashing water in the river below when but when they returned to the nest they found that the eggs had disappeared there were there were very they were very much upset and they flapped about making a great noise the father sparrow suddenly saw the tail of a long snake slithering into a hole at the base of a tree he knew what had happened so when when they were sitting on the branch and then when they were return, when they returned from that branch to their nest what did they find out they find found out that the their eggs had disappeared and they were very much upset that where their eggs have gone and they were they started making great noise the, then what did the father sparrow saw the spa, the father sparrow saw a snake slithering in a hole at the base of the tree at the base of the tree there was a hole and a s snake was slithering inside it the sparrows fluttered from branch to branch and made such a noise that it woke their friend the owl he wanted to know what was going on so they told him about the missing eggs and the snake and also told him that this has upset him so they so so much that they were now going to leave the old sal tree forever so the sparrows fluttered from one branch to another what does fluttered means mean they were flying the, the sparrows were flying from one branch to another and they were making a lot of noise so what what happened the noise which was the noise which which they were making woke up when one of their old friends the owl and they, the owl wanted to know what was going on so they told the owl that about the missing eggs and the snake and they also told him that they were so upset with what had happened that they will now they will not live in the sal tree they will leave the sal tree on which they were living since forever the owl listened to their sad story and he nodded his head and rolled his eyes the owl listened to his their sad story and then what he, he did he nodded his head nodded means moving the head in sideways he nodded his head and rolled his eyes don't worry my friends said the owl you must think of leaving your nest and going away because of that horrid snake you don't why don't you get rid of him the sparrows looked puzzled what did what owl, what did the owl say don't worry my friends you must you must not think of leaving your nest this is must not it is the abbreviation it is the short form of must not mustn't it is pronounced as mustn't but it is the short form of must not okay so what owl the owl said that you should not think of leaving your nest because of that snake you should in spite of that you should think of getting rid of that snake but the sparrows look puzzled they were very surprised they, they did not understand what the owl was trying to say but how can we possibly do that said the sparrow please tell us you are wise and can think of a plan the owl said blinking his large round eyes what but how can we possibly do that the sparrow said that how can we get rid of the snake please tell us you are wise and you can think of a plan the owl as i told you the owl are is considered a wise bird so he said the sparrow said to him that you are very wise and you can think of a plan the owl said blinking his large rounded eyes Ra large round eyes go to the place where the prince has left his clothes said the owl pick up the prince's golden gold bangle and drop it in the snake's hole what did the owl say he said that go where the prince where, when the prince was going to have a swim in the shower he took out he used to take out his clothes and keep it on the bank of the river so the owl said that take go where he keeps his clothes and take his golden bangle and drop it in the snake's hole 
the sparrows did not understand what it was all about but they trusted the owl and they respected his wisdom the sparrows thanked the owl immediately and flew flew towards the prince's clothes the sparrows did not understand what the owl was trying to convey to them what the owl was trying to plan what he was trying to do but they trusted the owl and his wisdom and he did and they thanked the owl and did what he they were asked to do they did what the owl told them to do they flew towards the prince's clothes the the father sparrow picked up the prince's golden bangle gold bangle while the mother sparrow flapped her wings and screeched loudly so the father sparrow he picked up the prince's gold bangle and the mother sparrow flapped her wings and screeched loudly flapped her wings wings mean have you ever seen how birds fly they just when they do when they clap their wings together it is known as flapping and screech screeching is the voice which is made by birds screeching is the speaking sound of the birds now the prince's guards were sitting on the bank of the river they went where the prince went they went wherever the prince went so what was the intention of the mother sparrow flapping and screeching to get the attention of the guards guard and the prince so the prince were the the prince the guards were sitting with the prince and they used to go wherever the prince went when the guards heard the noise they looked towards the prince's clothes they were surprised to see the sparrow flying off with the prince's bangle the guards rou- roused themselves and chased the sparrow so they were the when the guards heard the noise when the guards heard the noise which the mother sparrow was making by flapping her wings and screeching they looked towards the prince's clothes and found the and looked at the and found that the sparrow was taking the prince's bangle to the to the hole of the snake so what what they did they started chasing the sparrow where he they started chasing the sparrow wherever the sparrow was flying they were running after him the sparrow flew flew around just out of reach of the guards at last it flew directly over the snake's hole and dropped the gold bangle the the sparrow was flying and flying and he was out of the reach of the guards but at last what did he do he flew directly over the snake's hole he he flew directly where the snake's hole was and he dropped the gold bangle there the bangle spun to the ground and fell into the snake's hole the sparrow the sparrow flew to the to the safety of the sal tree and perched on a high branch so the sparrow he the bangle spun and fell on the ground into the snake's hole spun on the ground means have you ever seen a bangle dropping down what how did how it drops it drops and it it rotates and rotates and then stops at a place so did the princess bangle did it spun on the ground and then it fell directly directly into the snake's hole the sparrow flew to the safety of the sal tree and perched on a high branch and then after dropping the bangle over in the snake's hole the sparrow ran away and he perched on to on one of the branches of the tree perched means like see the, this way the birds sit they, they clutch their toes on the branch or wherever they are sitting that is called as perched okay the snake was startled by the arrival of the bangle and poked its head out of the hole to see what was going on just as it did so the guards arrived one of them drew his sword and killed the snake that was the end of the snake so the snake was startled startled means surprised by the arrival of the bangle and he came out of his hole to see what was happening he poked his head out he poked his mother he took a little part of his head out to see what was going on and as soon as he did it the guards arrived and one of the guards took his sword out and killed the snake and the snake died there the sparrows were overjoyed they thanked their friend the owl and praised his intelligence the sparrows continued to live happily in the sal tree for many years the following year the mother sparrow laid some more eggs and the baby sparrows lived with their parents in the sal tree the owl the owl watched over them 
so here the story comes to the end what what is in the last paragraph when the snake was killed the sparrows the the owl's plan was successful the sparrows were overjoyed they were very happy they thanked their friend owl and play, praised his intelligence they very they thanked him and they praised him they, him for his intelligence then the sparrows continued to live happily in the sal tree for years and after some years the mother sparrow laid some more eggs and then those eggs became baby sparrows and they all lived peacefully there and the owl watched them over so what did you learn from this story that whenever anybody tries to harm any other human being god plays his role he also does what he, what the person has do, done to the first person when you try to kill when the snake tried to kill the eggs the what the owl and the sparrow planned and they also killed the snake so we should never try to harm anybody we should never try to take advantage of anybody's innocence and we should live and let others live okay so now this is the end of the chapter read the complete chapter mark the difficult words and the pdf will be provided to you all write the question and answers in your copy neatly and we will meet in the next class till then bye stay happy and stay blessed